So will this latest case find the government guilty? Let's go to Sydney and ask George Newhouse. He is the human rights lawyer who leads the National Justice Project. That's the group behind this lawsuit. George, thanks so much for joining us. Let me ask you first what you're really hoping these lawsuits will achieve. What do you ultimately want for your clients? Well, look, uh, for the last six years, these individuals have been kept in cruel and inhumane conditions. And we're asking the Australian government to cease and desist in those uh, in maintaining these poor individuals in shocking conditions, in conditions that amount to torture and crimes against humanity. How much are you asking for, though? Because some are complaining that you're opening the door to more financial compensation. It was something the former Prime Minister Tony Abbott said upon the last ruling of $50 million in compensation that uh, he called it a windfall for people who unfairly took advantage of our nation's generosity. Well, if you look at our proceedings, they're quite different from that, that court case. We're actually seeking injunctive relief. That's an order from the court that the Australian government cease and desist their conduct. Um, damages are, may well be a byproduct of these proceedings, but they're not the main goal. The main goal is to actually have individuals moved from Manus Island and Nauru to third countries, or if third countries can't be found, then they should be brought to Australia. Help us understand then, if you believe your clients have uh, legitimate claims to asylum, why are they not being processed? What is the problem here with the government system that isn't taking these people in immediately? Go ahead. Well, they have been processed. Um, over 80% of the asylum seekers have been found to be refugees. They've been processed, and that's the point. They're being held on these island prisons as human shields, as a deterrent to stop others from coming to Australia by boat. And that amounts to torture. It's an intentional infliction of harm on these people in order to deter others from coming. Okay, so help us better understand that because we said that some of these people have legitimate claims to asylum. Is that not the case? Are they uh, approved? asylum seekers and refugees that should now be released? So they're being completely illegally detained? Um, they are, they have been found to be uh, refugees and therefore they should not be detained. They're being kept on remote islands in order to deter others from coming to Australia. Our government has said as much. Our prime minister said, we have harsh measures. Some would say cruel measures uh, but the fact is, if you want to stop the boats and the people smuggling business, you need to have, be tough, very, very tough. Our government has been very explicit about their policy. They are quite happy to be cruel and inhumane in, in order to deter others from coming. And that is uh, fits the definition of torture. Okay, then let's go back and talk about those on the other side uh, of your argument who simply claim that there is fear among ordinary Australians that these are not people that we can actually vet properly because they arrive by these boats with no legal papers, we can't get proper criminal records, we don't know what their history is and who they are. How do you placate those, those basic fears? Um, look, they might be Trumpian fears from the United States, but that's not the issue in Australia. 80% um, of these individuals have been processed and found to be um, asylum seekers. That's not the issue here. I don't believe uh, that the concern is that they don't have papers or that they aren't asylum seekers. Um, the concern in Australia is that we don't want um, boats to start arriving again from Indonesia. That's the reason why these individuals are being held in virtual island prisons. They're being held this way to teach others a lesson not to come to Australia, because if you do, you'll be held for up to six years uh, on Manus Island or Nauru in very harsh conditions, in cruel conditions, in inhumane conditions.
George Newhouse, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much for joining us from Sydney.